。为什么同年纪的人，有些人就是看起来特别年轻呢？明明是母女，却被误认为是姐妹；母子合照竟被认为是情侣，真是太没有天理了。除了天生基因无法改变，到底如何才能留住青春呢？今天就是要告诉你变年轻最有效的科学方法。时代杂志百大人物、哈佛医学院抗老权威 David Sinclair 教授，他的研究指出，当生物在逆境时，会开启 s t u n s AMPK、mTOR 这三种途径的长寿基因来维持表观基因组的稳定，让细胞维持于年轻的状态，同时可预防各式的疾病。要如何开启这些途径呢？大概有以下几种方法。第一个就是避免 DNA 损伤的行为。例如，在大太阳底下一定要记得防晒，过度的曝晒真的是老化的杀手。另外，还要避免辐射线，像是 X 光等，还有就是避免腌制、高糖、油炸或是精致等热色食物。第二个，限制热量或是运用间歇性断食会更好。第三个，摄取正确的氨基酸，以植物性蛋白取代动物性蛋白，红肉不要摄取过多。第四个，高强度间歇性运动 HIIT。第五个，让身体暴露于不舒服的炎热或是寒冷。There's this theory that billions of years ago, early bacteria took an important evolutionary step. They actually developed. Two different modes of living. When times were good, they used their energy to grow and reproduce. But when conditions were tough, they used their energy to protect and repair their cells. They evolved what Professor Sinclair calls longevity genes. These genes, triggered by adversity, create enzymes which, among other things, maintain the epigenome. And today, those same longevity genes can be found in bacteria. And us, we have these hormetic response genes or longevity genes that are in all of our cells, and they sense when we've run a lot, we've lost our breath, or we're hungry, we're a little bit hot, a little bit cold. That these genes are turning on our general defenses against aging. So what is that? So parts of our cells fall apart; they can put them back together. Proteins misfold; they can get rid of them or put them back together. The ends of the chromosomes get shorter; they can lengthen them. A lot of processes that go on, but one of the most important, I think. Is maintaining the information, the epigenetic information in the cell, so that our cells don't forget what to do. There are three types of longevity gene. They're the ones we work on, called sirtuins, and they control the information in the cell. In fact, sir in the sirtuin stands for silent information regulator, number two. There are other ones. The other group is called AMP kinase or AMPK. This group of genes senses how much energy we're we're taking in, for, mostly in the form of sugar. And then the third group is called mTOR, and these genes control and respond to how much、uh, amino acids we're taking in. So if you eat a, eat a giant steak, you've got a lot of amino acids coming into your body. That'll actually prevent mTOR from hunkering down and keeping you being longer lived. So the mouse experiments actually bear this out. The best way to make a mouse live longer is to reduce the amount of time it eats. So periodic fasting, intermittent fasting. Uh, to keep it a little bit cool, and to restrict its amino acids, that's the recipe for long life for a mouse, and it's true for monkeys as well. There've been calorie restricted studies where these monkeys, for 15 years, didn't eat as much food as the ones that gorged themselves whenever they wanted, and they were protected. They didn't just age slower; they didn't get as much diabetes and heart disease. They were actually fit and healthy when the control group, eating whatever they wanted, aged and became sick quicker. When some people think about eating less, like calorie restriction, as a way to extend their life, that doesn't seem like a very pleasant way to extend life. I mean, to be hungry for longer. So, are there other ways to, you know, mimic that effect or to simulate that? There are these molecules that turn on the sirtuin pathway and trick the body. And so, for example, in the lab, if I give some of our mice a molecule called NMN. Which raises the level of a chemical called NAD. You get hyperactive defenses in the body. And what did you see in these, you know, senescent mice that you gave NMN to?、Uh, well, we had a, a bit of an, an incident. 
These mice that we gave NMN to ran 50% further, but actually some of them ran so far that the machine, the little treadmill stopped working. And we had to reprogram the software because this program had never seen a mouse that ran more than three kilometers. Three kilometers for a mouse? For an old mouse, they outran the young mice. And that's like an ultra marathon for us. That would be probably like taking a 70 year old and making them run faster than a 20 year old further. Uh, yeah, so these are ultra marathoners. And if we did that to humans, imagine you could have 90 year olds winning uh, Olympic medals. So to sum up, there are six things that you can do right now to slow the rate of your aging. Starting with zero, avoid DNA damage. Wear sunscreen, avoid x-rays and all that sort of stuff. Number one, eat less, caloric restriction. Number two, eat less protein because your body has ways of detecting how much of that you're taking in. Number three, do some exercise, high intensity interval training. Get your heart rate up to 85%, make your body feel like you're running from a lion or something. Number four, be uncomfortably cold. Or number five, be uncomfortably hot. All of these things will trigger your body's longevity genes into maintaining your epigenome, going into repair and protect mode rather than grow and reproduce. And if you think about those things, those are generally all the things that we don't do. But what if slowing aging isn't enough for you? Well, this is where my...研究发现,NAD加是维持人体年轻态的最重要物质,也是维持生命的必须分子之一。随着年龄增长,人体内NAD加水平会显著下降。触发各种衰老症状的产生。2013年,哈佛医学院教授Mary 哈佛大学华盛顿大学日本庆利大学等著名科研机构先后发表研究报告